Hey, welcome back. Uh, today, just doing a quick video. Um, I've had, out of all the videos I've made so far on this channel, the one that's had the most hits was my review on Tacova's boots, the Earl. Um, I still wear those boots every day, and they are excellent. Um, but one of the things I mentioned in that video is that I found I'm not a big fan of the Roper style heel. Um, it was just a little too flat for me. Um, so shortly after, you know, after, uh, you know, reading some of your comments and recommendations and all that, uh, you know, emails, all those sorts of things, I got the, uh, I saved up a little bit and I got another pair of Tacovas. I wanted to see how much of a difference the heel actually made and to see what the quality is like on it, basically any other style of their boot. So that's where I picked up one of these which I have absolutely been loving, even more so than the Earl. Uh, this is the Cartwright by Tacovas, and the material is the Scotch Goat, the same as I have on my uh, review for the Earl. Um, so, this is only going to be a quick review, because what I found is the quality is exactly the same here. This is a fantastic boot for the money. Okay, um, I haven't been wearing these as hard as my other pair because I, I've been saving these just for casual wear, not work wear. Um, however, I will tell you these are incredibly comfortable boots for the money. Um, as far as the little differences, uh, I like this pair of boots more because it has a couple of features that the Earl doesn't that I prefer in a boot. So let me run through those quick. Obviously the first off, just like the Earl, it is a stacked leather heel. Okay, um, it takes finish very nicely. These I have not done oil with. I've only done clear protectants. So in this one, I've been using that Ariat Mink Oil. Um, I didn't use the Hubert's like I did on the other pair because I didn't want to darken these. So uh, the stacked leather heel, having that extra height made a huge difference for me. Um, just for my personal comfort, everyone has their preferences, but it, it definitely made a difference, and I find that these are more comfortable than my Earls. Um, they also broke in a little bit easier than my Earls, because I now that this is the second pair of Tacovas I've had, I kind of knew what I was doing and what to expect for breaking them in. Um, so this pair didn't take as long to break in as the other ones, and I bought some shoe trees so that I could keep these in shape when I'm not wearing them. Um, that being said, other features on this that I like, okay, this has a taller shaft for the calf, um, I think it's an extra inch or two, um, and it's, the one thing I don't like about the shaft on these is, and it's just because of the style that it is, is this shaft is just a little bit narrower than the roper, and that's just how they are, it's the roper versus the riding boot. Um, these are taller and tighter, which is better for riding, they give you more support, uh, keeping your feet in the, the uh, stirrups and everything else. Um, so that's great, but it means these are a pain in the butt to get off of your feet at the end of the day. Um, I have to use a boot jack to get these off most of the time. Uh, so I, I struggle with it using my hands, but that's also just me. I don't really have a good place to take my boots off when I get home. Um, so, it you know, it's all preference. Um, so the shaft is taller. It's got a little bit more figure to it. It's probably a little tough to see under this light. Um, but it's got more stitching on it, which is something I like because I find that the stitching helps to keep things from stretching in ways that I don't want them to. The same thing is true up here on the toe box. Okay, This has the stitching on the toe box, which is something that I particularly like because, once again, it helps keep these from stretching out too much. Um... And it also helps as far as getting wrinkles and creases in here from walking around. Um, it just makes them look a little bit nicer and hides some of that uh, in the figure. Other than that, they're almost identical to the Earls. Okay, um, I still I like the round toe, so I get the round toe. That's why I, you know I, that's what I stick with. Um, as far as quality, the stitching, as with the other ones, is excellent. Um, be a little tough to see in here. But the lining is very nice. It's all pretty good heavy-duty stuff. Uh, and I'm just, I'm very happy with these. Uh, so I've been wearing them for about three months now, give or take, on and off. Um, 
I got these in, I believe it was May or June of this year. I didn't start wearing them for a month or two because I was focusing on doing other stuff. Um, but very, very happy. Tacova's the Cartwright. Um, Scotch Goat, excellent, excellent boot for the money. Um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find something better in this price range. I've seen a couple brands trying to, you know, break out a little bit and, you know, follow on Tacova's tail, but they were here first. They're doing a good job. I like the way they built the boot. Um, and that's pretty much the scoop there. As far as what you can expect for durability, one thing I have noticed is since Tacovas does use wood pegs for some of their attaching down in the bottoms, I've noticed, a little tough to get my finger here in a mirror image, but I have noticed some of the pegs are working their way out a little bit. If they work their way out too much, I'm just gonna use some shoe glue and pop them back in. Um, it's not really something to concern yourself with, but it is just something to be aware of. They do also use brass nails in a couple places on these too, which is good. Um, but overall, fantastic boot for the money. Um, it's good. There's enough space in here that I can have my boot knife clipped in. No issues there. Uh, just a good boot. Now, this... This video I'm recording, I just saw a day or two ago online. Apparently now Tacovas is a sponsor of Yellowstone, the TV show. Um, I was pretty excited and surprised to hear that. Um, that you know, they grabbed uh, one of the actors as a spokesman. Um, and they're really starting to push their product now. And it seems like it's taken some leaps and bounds. So I'm hoping... That this is a good sign for the company the fact that they could sponsor such a breakout tv series as yellowstone um i think that's a great thing and that to me says that hopefully there will be some security in these and they'll be around as a company for a long time uh my customer service experience with them has been fantastic whenever i've talked to someone on the phone it's been great um it's a how can i help not a what's wrong <laughs> um that it's just a very nice company and i hope that they keep their current business model because it's really it it's a good experience as a customer it's a good product um geez i'm, I'm sitting here singing the praises for these guys um i am not sponsored i have no connection with tacovas other than the fact that i bought two pairs of boots from them um I just want to make that very clear. I am not paid to do this. This is just my honest thoughts. Uh, all I can say is hop on their website, check it out. Um, from you know, based on this news of them uh, sponsoring Yellowstone, I am betting if I know my market well enough, the price of boots from Tacovas is probably going to go up a bit over the next year or so and then it'll probably start to come back down again and settle somewhere decent um so if you're gonna buy a pair i would probably do it soon because once people start jumping on the yellowstone bandwagon they're gonna be tacovas are gonna be having trouble keeping stuff in stock i just have a feeling um i did just get a catalog from them today as well too um christmas catalog and it does really look like they're trying to market to the whole live your life cowboy style, urban cowboy thing. But the boots will hold up to real use. Um, so that's my scoop for today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, just as a little quick piece of news for the channel, I've been having a lot of computer issues. I currently can't edit any videos. So I've got a lot of backlog right now and I just ordered a new computer. So once that comes in and I get stuff settled, I'll be uploading more videos again. Um, I don't know what the time frame is going to be for that, but it'll, pr you know, we'll probably have another video out in a month or so. Um, and then from there, we'll be heading into Cabin Fever Challenge season. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And uh, thanks for tuning in.